Today, April 28, 2024, our most compassionate Supreme Master Ching Hai, Vegan, kindly took time from her intensive meditation retreat to express her appreciation to everyone who assists in rescuing the world. Master also explained the three types of masters that people should know about, expanded on the cause of climate change and diseases, and directly addressed those leading governments of countries where freedoms are restricted. Wonderful wishes to all of you, because you are beautiful. You are the children of God. and I will know who you are. This is so-called karma, the natural law of karma, 
It's like that. Even our love or our hatred or our good or bad energy will also affect the environment or affect whoever we meet. In the book of Paramahansa Yogananda, it is mentioned that one of the people in the USA, in California, is specialized in planting roses. And his roses have no thorns, and they grow beautifully. Yeah, wonderfully, you know, more than many other roses around or in the world. He talked to them. He loved them. He said, you don't need thorns. I will protect you. So it really happens like that. It really did happen, as in the book. Some people, when you meet them for the first time, you have very bad impression already, even before they open their mouth to speak or even look at you. And some people, when you meet them, even for the first time, you don't know them, but you feel comfortable, at ease, and friendliness from them. Most people in the world love animal people. When they see animal people, they really love them. Even the neighbor's dog and cat person, they can hug them or say some nice things to them. Because most people in this world, true humans, have love in their hearts. They're just too busy to recognize it and exercise that love. That is a pitiful thing. So every day I ask our team to put things on Supreme Master television to remind people to love God, to love others, you know, humans and animal people, because that love will boost you up, will drag you out of uh, mundane karma and uh, bad influences around you. To love God is the best. Even if you can't see God because you don't practice uh, meditation and you don't uh, eat vegan, uh, please do <laughs> anyway. Thank you. If you remember God, at least you have blessings to some extent, even if you don't know it. And if you love any master, you know, it doesn't have to be me, you know, I can't afford you to love me. You love whoever you love and do it wholeheartedly, but make sure that master teacher is really worthy of your love. Otherwise, if he, she has bad intentions, a bad motive, not worthy of his
realization. Many things I told you mostly are self-realized. Okay, it's not because a book or a sutra. Yeah, mm. but if you remember uh, the Kuan Yin Bodhisattva story, it says that Kuan Yin Bodhisattva, the same Bodhisattva, manifested him herself in her time. You know. In that time, when the Bodhisattva was alive, she manifested as all kinds of status in life. Yeah, even into like a virgin girl, virgin boy, you know, to help anyone who needs her or him in that type of status. So you never know whom you meet in life. Always pray so that whoever you meet is pure, or at least you are protected. Rely on God's protection power. Rely on your true master's protective love. Then you are okay in this world. So that any big disaster will become smaller, and every smaller one will become zero. Always remember your master, okay? Whom you feel worthy to trust, and who will help you. Definitely, especially in the spiritual domain, okay? Mm. The third type is a neutral type, meaning they won't give you bad karma and they won't give you blessing either, because that person just has enough merit and uh, spiritual attainment to take care of him or herself in the world. Often those persons can only take care of themselves or maximum their relatives and friends and several generations and their pet people. Yeah. They have no more allowance to give anyone else who they're not related to. We are all related, but what I mean is who they're not related to in their lifetime. Yeah? So, this person will give you nothing. <laughs> well, better than giving you bad karma, huh? Okay? <laughs> <coughs> if somebody gives you blessings, it also means luck, yeah? fortune, happiness, and, uh, you know, health, all kinds of things. The blessing is not uh, limited only to spiritual elevation, okay? Yes. So if someone gives you real blessings, like from a true master, for example, then you are a very, very lucky person. You should be very, very grateful to God to have met that type of master, okay? Just remember, in everyday life, try to always think in a positive direction and try to remember God all the time and remember your true master if you have one. If you don't have one, just remember God. Thank God for everything you have.
fragments of H5N1, also known as bird flu, has been found in one in five samples of pasteurized milk. I'm telling you, vegan is the best. And even nowadays, vegan is also risky. Some of it's contaminated by the neighbor's fuel or by the neighbor's fertilizer or, or neighbor's uh, herbicide, insecticide or pesticide. In the old times, people treated the cow, people kindly, yeah? And they only use their hands to milk the cow or the sheep people, yeah? Or whichever animal people can give milk. They use their hands, gentle hands to milk some milk, just enough for them to use. And the, the calves still continue to live with the mother until they grown up and didn't need milk anymore. They make sure of that. Because they also needed uh, more animal people later to give more milk, for example, eh? or to plow the field, yeah, and to carry some burden for them. In the old times, we didn't have cars or didn't have a lot of cars. In some countries, they still do that. And so this kind of wholesome, healthy uh, practice to tend the fields as well as to treat the animal people well is very, very, very good, very favorable to human's health, the economy and environment. But nowadays we overdo it. We are greedy and the population keeps growing and we use machines to hurt the cow people, torturing them to take milk and... Uh, imprison them all day in such a little pen, uh, sometimes chaining their necks and all kinds of stuff. You see it, you know it. This is utterly inhumane, cruel, and creates a terrible karma for everyone and the planet. And even if we lose this planet, lose everything we have, we can only blame ourselves. I hope we won't have to face this drastic tragedy, but who knows, who knows. We all do our best, but it's not enough yet. I'm just hopeful and prayerful and trust in God and all the masters and all the noble and high beings in the universe to help us. But if our karma is too heavy, we can't do much. They cannot do much. Even the greatest master, even God cannot do much. Things have to take their course according to their construction, you know, their mechanism, you know.
up to now seven cat people at least somewhere, but not every infected cat person will be known to have bird flu. They can also be outside wild cat, feral cat people, or could be the domestic cat people. But mostly cat people come and go, they don't stay inside the house. In many countries, they are still free like that. So they could catch bird flu, but uh, nobody would notice or die outside and the owner would not even know. Hmm? Nowadays, you keep uh, your cat person in your condominium, you know, inside the house. So maybe it's okay, but it's not a natural way for the cat person to be happy anyway. Cat and dog people need some outdoor activities. <laughs> and when they go out sometimes, they might catch this bird flu. And that's it, you might also be infected. There is growing concern tonight about the continuing spread of the highly contagious bird flu in the U.S. The virus has now spread to dairy cattle and sickened one person. William? That's right, Jeff. This strain of bird flu, called H5N1, has been sickening bird flocks across America for a few years now. Millions have been killed to prevent further spread. Yesterday, the country's biggest egg producer halted productions when chickens at one of its facilities got sick. But this virus has also been infecting mammals, most recently dairy cows in five different states. This week, a person in Texas tested positive after working with cattle. Many are concerned the virus can infect their pet dogs, cats, as it's been found in one goat and already spread to two people uh, in the U.S. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins explains what pet owners should know. We know avian flu is a risk to chickens, wild birds, and dairy cows. But what about the pets you share home with? There has been um, reports of it in cats in four countries. We're one of them, France, Poland, U.S., and South Korea. How is it transmitted when cats do what cats do? If the feral or stray cat that's hanging around your house or barn happens to eat a dead bird or a live bird, that's when um, the concern should, should be apparent. But your dog could be at risk too. The place that we feel that our domestic animals are getting this is from wild bird droppings. In pets, there's no specific antiviral treatments available, only supportive care. It can be fatal, but more often than not, they will show signs of depression, they don't want to eat, they're listless, feverish. Uh, there can be neurologic signs where they're walking like they're drunk or having a head tilt, and those cases sometimes go on to be
you can think of everything you can name, the vegan diet will be the benefactor of it. You know, there is every reason to go vegan and there is no reason not to. For me personally, I have to say, medically, a vegan diet is great. It's a way to keep your coronary arteries open. It's a way to keep those extra pounds away. It's a good way to lower your cancer risk as much as you possibly can and to stay healthy and energetic. From the standpoint of the environment, I gotta tell you, every time I go back to my childhood. The generation of my parents, I realized that they were becoming more and more sick. They were getting heart disease and diabetes and were becoming obese. And I wanted to stay healthy and fit. And I realized that if I wanted to uh, achieve the best uh, potential, I had to change something. And that's why I became vegan. One of my colleagues got cancer and she went vegan as a way to try to best fight her cancer. And I remember thinking, you know, if I got cancer, I would definitely be vegan. And then I thought, why wait? Take the step preventatively, don't take it as a reaction to getting the illness. I was raised on nothing but meats. I was diagnosed on December 31st, 2007 with type 2 diabetes. Uh, my A1C at that time was 7.2. Uh, my blood sugar was 140. Now that I have been free of diabetes for almost five years, my A1C is now 5.2. My blood pressure is 116 over 75. I would never go back to uh, eating meat. Please believe me, I have not much to benefit, except that the world will become better. For myself, of course, I also benefit from that. Thank you. Thank you for choosing vegan to fit your life, your children, and to fit our world to feed our planet. No one should be hungry anymore, even if our population rises. We have enough food if we are vegan. Most of the people in this world are humans. They have their good heart. They have good thinking, noble ideas, and they're really generous and kind. It's just that they are affected by bad negative powers who are roaming around on this planet.
read our initiation venues, jail our people, read their internet accounts and personal computers, confiscate this and that document. This is not a proper way to govern, okay? Think about it and stop all that nonsense and bad karma for yourself and for your country. As much as God will reward good people, good countries, more so God will punish those people, those countries who go against the principle of the universe, the good principle, the noble way of dealing with each other and other beings on this planet or anywhere. Please remember that. You don't have to believe me. Just think logically, okay? Whatever you do, we have a consequence. Good deeds will bring good consequences, whether you know it or not. Bad deeds will have bad consequences, knowing or not knowing, and will come sooner or later. Just like if you plant the seed of rice, then you will have rice come out. You plant apple seeds, you will have apple trees and apple fruit. It's very simple, very logical. In this physical world, it's like that. Even if you don't want to aim to go to heaven, in this physical world, if you adhere to the five principles of Buddhism or the Ten Commandments of Christianity and other religions, you will be reborn again as a good, healthy, wealthy human again. And if you happen to have to be born into the animal people, kingdom somehow, you will be king of the animal kingdom. You will be smart, you will be intelligent, you will be safe. And you will be healthy to the last breath of your life, be it human or an animal person. We have no guns, no knives, no force, no army, no airplanes. We don't even have Air Force 10, not to talk about Air Force 1, <laughs> like in some countries. We don't have anything to go against you. We have no intention to. So please, leave us alone in peace. Okay? Take care of yourself so that you're safe, healthy, and may go to heaven, or at least be reborn again as a good human.
the central government or the highest official whom they want to harm consciously or subconsciously because they are past life enemies of these officials, higher officials or lower officials or the highest officials, the leader of the country. They could be former enemies, the secret enemies in this lifetime or maybe demons and ghosts which took up a human's body to do harm to you, leaders, you know, the sane and good and clean leaders, or to your country at large. Because if it affects the leaders or other high officials, then it will affect also the countries in some way. Please be careful and check out to see who is good, who is bad for the government, for your reputation, for your governance, and for your country, for your people, of course. I never blame the government or the leaders of any country. I know it is hard to govern the machine of, uh, you know, leadership. It is comprised of too many people, and not all of them are good, of course. Not all of them adhere to the government's principle or rule or guidance. In any country, it's like that. I don't blame you, okay? unless you yourself do bad things, like some of the leaders I have mentioned before. I can't help it. I tell the truth all the time, even if it's risky for my safety and my life. I have to tell people so they can choose to avoid them, to avoid trouble, to avoid the bad energy, try to help themselves, to pray to God to protect them, or they go with that demonic leader. It's their choice. I only have the choice to tell the truth, but I don't have the choice to decide for people what to do. Anyway, uh, just to conclude this uh, talk, I'm very grateful to all of you who support in your heart for help in any way, for help Supreme Master Television to continue with your contribution of uh, labor, editing, writing, Videography, uh, photography, hosting, cooking for the team while they're working, helping them in any way, any way at all, to keep Supreme Master TV going. Even though I do the financial part and also editing, correcting, supervising and directing, <laughs> if I'm alone without all your help, I can't do as much as what we are doing now. So from the depth of my heart, from the depth of my spirit, I thank you. I thank you very much. <laughs> and I thank God. <laughs>